Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome once again to What's My Racket. My name is John. Since the newspaper strike in New York, you know there are no more dailies. <laughs> now, first, I'd like to introduce our panel. And immediately to my right is the bright, scintillating, beautiful, charming, brilliant, glamorous, adorable, but what good is it she's married? Maria Riva. And to my right is a young lady who has collected more ice than Betty Furness, and who has more brains in her little finger than she has in her big finger, Miss Carol Chan. And to my right is that lovely cover girl of Field and Stream magazine, <laughs> who appears with us tonight through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, whose latest movie, How to Marry a Millionaire, she's been waiting in line all afternoon to get him to see, and who's been excused from the line to make this broadcast, Miss Matt. <laughs> and to my right, is a fascinating, handsome, gorgeous... Uh, talented. Talented. <laughs> Versatile. Versatile. Modest. Wealthy Milton Berle. <laughs> And to my right is the powder room. <laughs> well, I guess you're all anxious to play What's My Racket. So if our first guest will sign in, please. <laughs> so would you sign in, please? <laughs> and now we'll see what this gentleman's racket is. Would you... Just a minute, I'll put this ratchet rat down. I'll just Would you walk in front of the panel? Can I, uh... Now you have one free guest, Mr. Bell. Free guest, may I see your hands, please? <laughs> you see you have mustard here, egg, A1 sauce, chili. I take one quick guess. This man is a sloppy eater. <laughs> no, no, you couldn't be wrong, huh? And we better dispense with the free questions because Mr. Jones has his engine double parked and he's got to be back at the fire station. <laughs> All right, now we'll start with Miss Reba. Does your work take you into people's homes? Yes. Are people usually there? Well, it's better for me if they're out. <laughs> Do you sometimes have to break in? Sometimes I have to break in. Are you a gonnet? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones is not a gonnet. Next, Miss Channing. Um, this work that you do, do you watch the work? No. Well, how do you get to work? I slide down a pole. <laughs> Are you a monkey? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Jones is not a monkey. Next, Max. Are you married? <laughs> All right, Max, next question. I've lost interest in it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jones, does your business keep you on call any hour of the day or night? Yes. <laughs> Do you have to get to where you're going in a hurry like in an emergency? Yes. I see. Do you use water in your business? Yes, plenty of water. I see. Uh, when people call you, is it for something unexpected? Yes, well... Uh... Sometimes it's expected. Do you use any special instruments in your racket? Yes. Just a minute, moment. we have a conference, please? What do you think he says he's called in on emergency? Yes, you do. And plenty of water. Isn't it for something people are expecting? Yeah, I got it. Are you an obstetrician? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Mr. Jones is a fireman. A fireman. Oh, well, Why don't you give us a hint? <laughs> a hint. And now for our mystery guest. Put on your blinkers, panel. <laughs> mystery guest, sign in. All right, now here's our mystery guest. See what you can do with this. Could, uh, could I hear the guest say something, please? Ho, 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 Mary! 
Happy Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Are there always bells clanging like that when you go to work? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Do you, uh, do you have to break into a house sometimes? Ho, ho, ho! Like, for instance, do you have to come in by way of the roof or the chimney? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Are you married? Oh, uh, never. <laughs> Conference. Let's have a conference. He says he comes down the chimney. Yes, sometimes he has to come down the chimney. Wears a red suit. Yeah. yeah. And his bell's clanging when he goes to work. We've got it. Are you a fireman? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. And if the panel will take off their masks, they will see that our mystery guest is none other than... Well, I might have known it. It's my brother Frank. He only works once a year. I might have known it. I don't know if we should do